Putting together evidence from ground and space telescopes, astronomers determined that the flash was a narrow but intense beam of light, and that most likely it broadcast the birth of a black hole. This singular moment is the end point of a violent chain of events in the core of a large star. All stars shine by burning light elements like hydrogen. In the largest ones, intense heat fuses these elements into heavier ones, like carbon, silicon, and finally iron. Like hot air in a balloon, heat and light from these nuclear fires creates an outward pressure that prevents the star's massive outer layers from collapsing inward. Eventually, that fuel runs out. The energy flows out through the star off into space. It can't go on forever. When the fuel runs out, the star starts to shrink. And when that iron core builds up to about 1.4 times the mass of the sun, it can no longer hold itself up against the pressure, and it will collapse. In some cases, as matter slams into the star's core, the impact creates a powerful shock wave that races back out and literally blows the star apart. Our galaxy is littered with the scattered remains of these supernovae, as shown in images like these from the Hubble Space Telescope. But what happens to the collapsed core of these dead stars? When a large star implodes, its weight is enough to squash all the atoms in its core down to their nuclei. The result, an ultra-dense ember called a neutron star. The density of a neutron star is something like taking a mountain and crushing it down to the size of a marble about so big. Neutrons can withstand incredible pressures, but if enough matter falls onto them, beyond a critical threshold, they can be crushed down to nothing. When that happens, a black hole is born. A black hole is gravity taken to the extreme. Its mass is literally packed into a point and enshrouded within a dark sphere called the event horizon. That sphere is the point of no return. Any gas, stars, or planets that fall in disappear forever. A black hole is a region of space and time which is both black and empty. It's black because light can't escape from it, gravity pulls the light back, but it's empty because the object or system that collapsed to form it in the first place has shriveled away to nothing. The common idea that a black hole is just made of very compacted matter, it's wrong. It's just simply wrong. It may have been created from very compacted matter, but the matter is gone. It's been completely destroyed. It no longer exists. And yet it leaves behind a powerful legacy. It's gravity. According to Albert Einstein, Gravity is not just the attractive force of planets and suns. It's a warping of space and time, what scientists call space-time, in the presence of massive objects. A planet, for example, goes into orbit when it's caught in the warped space surrounding a star, like a ball spinning around a roulette wheel. With the mass of a star squashed down to a point, a black hole is a deep puncture in space-time. When a black hole is born, the energy gets transformed from the energy of the matter to the energy of warped space-time. So it's a transformation of the form of the energy from one to another, but the energy is still conserved. 
What you're left behind with is warped space-time that has a huge amount of energy in it.